more labor. All right, hey guys, today we are packing up for a paracamping adventure. Uh, we're gonna fly down to the Wisconsin River again. If you've watched my videos before, we did this last year. Uh, a group of us is gonna get together. We're gonna fly down, land on a sandbar in the river, and uh, camp overnight and fly back in the morning. It's gonna be perfect weather. Um, it's great temperatures, no wind, and in the mornings there should be some low-level fog, which will be fun to fly over on the way home. So all in all, it'll be good. Now my job is to pack all this stuff up and uh, get ready to get in the air in about 45 minutes or so. So here's my pile of stuff that needs to get packed up. So I have my clothes. I brought some long johns and a long sleeve shirt because uh, it might get a little bit chilly in the morning flying back. Uh, then I have my gin flight deck where I'm gonna pack most of this stuff in. Uh, I got a couple cliff bars for some food, some water, instant coffee. I have my battery pack and camera. Uh, I got a multi-tool and a knife and a lighter. Uh, I'm gonna try to hook up my speed bar if I have time so I can get down there a little faster. Got my flotation since we're gonna be over the river. And a sleeping bag and a tent. Uh, and then I just have my normal wing and motor. I'm gonna fill up with a full tank of gas and we will be hitting the road here shortly. All right, so the adventure begins. I didn't film any of my packing because uh, I got a call and they're leaving earlier than I was expecting. So I had to kind of throw everything together last minute. So hopefully I didn't forget anything. I'm just driving over to my neighbor's hay field where I launch out of. I am going to leave my four wheeler parked here overnight and then I can just fly here in the morning and load up and uh, just drive back to my house. Um, I'm flying the Hadron XX 18 meter. Actually, I've gotten that news since my last video. so. I guess I haven't even told anybody about that, but um, yep, I bought a used Hadron XX. It is awesome. It's the best purchase I've ever made. I'm um, loving it so far. This will be the heaviest load I've carried while I'm running with it, but really it's not that much more because um, I fly with a full tank of fuel almost every time I fly. Just I think it's good practice, so I don't ever get worried if I have to have a full tank. I'm going to park right here in the corner because in the morning I don't know what the wind's going to be doing. I'm going to leave a windsock here for me to reference when I get here. I think everybody else is getting ready and I don't want to hold them up because I have to fly to their house which is about six miles away from here. But hopefully I can catch up. Somehow I carried more stuff last year, but I can't remember how, but I also packed up way in advance last year, and this year I just did it, well, about 15 minutes ago, so I kind of got rushed. Alright, get the motor warmed up. Oh, there's no wind at all, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go the direction we're laid out. to fail. Alright, I gotta get reset up right away. Alright, here we go. This is the one. Alright, so we made it up in the air. Uh, we're a few miles away from my friend's house. I don't see them up in the air yet, but um, they might just be down low. But we're heading straight there. It's a uh, little thermally, a little bumpy, but that's alright. It was 
it's a nice clear day, so it's to be expected. I'm going to kill the camera here until I meet up with everybody, and I'll catch you there. Okay, so I'm up to my buddy's house here. I see two gliders up in the air. I saw one for a little while, so I think they're just all getting launched. Um, it's pretty thermally getting racked around pretty good here, but I think that'll settle down here shortly. There's, uh, looks like Ethan just took off. That was the last person on the ground. Well, it looks like it was about perfect timing, actually. As soon as I got here, everybody got in the air. Unless they were waiting for me. So check this out. Believe it or not, this is a private airstrip here. It's huge. It's got to be, I don't know, 4,000, 5,000 feet long. It was the founder of this clothing company called Land's End that started in Wisconsin. And apparently they liked the aircraft and they would fly in here to their farm. So, pretty awesome. We're about halfway to the river now. Still bumpy. There's a bunch of people. Everybody's behind me. I'm in the lead right now. I've been contemplating climbing up over these clouds so it smooth out. But I also don't want to burn all my fuel climbing either, so... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm slowly climbing right now. Yeah, I got a companion finally. Somebody caught up to me. I can't tell exactly who that is. It looks like Ethan's wing, but I don't know if it's Ethan. I feel like I just got to go over here and play with some of these hills. We're getting down in the valley where there's no more hills. This is the best part about living in this hill country. You can cruise through trees just like this and you still are safe because you can just turn out in the valley. It smells so good down here. Doran tearing it up. Pretty much right where we camped last year. Well, we're just cruising here trying to look for a good bar. Okay, so here's the bars up ahead that I was looking at yesterday. I think that's going to be our best bet. I don't know that there's any wind whatsoever. Hard to tell. Alright, so here's our spot. I think. I'll be the first victim. for everybody else. All right, I think Doran's coming, skidding in right around this tree. 
Oh yeah, he's skiing his way down the river. Look at him. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, there's Ethan. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I know. Yeah. I saw it yesterday. This is the biggest bar I saw from Muscaday all the way down, so. I like this spot. The one we, it's similar to the one we did last year. But yeah. did you see the one from last year? It was underwater. <laughs> Apparently the gauges or whatever online are wrong. Cause they said the water was supposed to drop a lot last night and it didn't. All right, nice job. That's Kyle, right? Yep. And who else is with Doran? And who else? Doran, Christian, and Kyle. Awesome. Oh, you didn't burn hardly any. That's a big tank, though. I need a big tank. You didn't burn much. No, it's not too bad. Yeah, about half. And all the way from my house, that's not bad. <laughs> it's hard when all that weight comes down yeah. on you that you're not used to it. And then your feet don't move right in the <laughs> Alright, well my uh my camera is about dead, but I'm gonna film what I can here. We dropped off all our stuff. No, I'm we're gonna go fly around for fun and I have to stop and get fuel. Everybody else burnt less fuel than me, so. Not sure what Doran's doing. He landed already and he's taking all his stuff off. He must be wanting to wait longer.
So my camera died for the rest of the evening while I was out flying around, so I just thought I'd quick show you on a map what I did here. Our campsite was here at Steamboat Island. We were on that sandbar right there. Um, I'll zoom out here a little bit. Nearby there's uh, this intersection named Port Andrew, and that has a gas station. Um, there's a lot of wires here, a lot of obstructions. This is a pretty good sized highway right next to the river. So landing right next to the gas station was definitely out. But I circled around for a while and realized that this road is about perfect. So I landed coming this way, landed right at this intersection, then walked down, got fuel, came back, set up right at the end of this driveway and took off in this direction. And it was pretty painless. So uh, yeah, my camera was dead the rest of the night, but uh, I pick it up here in the morning when we're ready to fly home. I don't have any audio because my phone died, but uh, at least I have video for you for the rest of the way home. My phone's dead, so if you see me land somewhere, come save me. You got a nick my in your prop. Did, did you know that? Yeah. And your prop's busted off? Yeah, it was actually a repair, but the water kind of chewed the repair out. Oh, bummer. I did my first foot drag in the water yesterday. Nice. Hey Doran, yeah. can you pull me? My pulley just busted oh, off of this. Shoot! But it's only it keeps breaking. Yeah. I had it on zip ties and they broke. Right, got it. First pull, right? Yeah.
All right, well, we have a successful trip. Um, nothing happened too much other than blowing my launch. Getting started, I kind of tripped in the sand with all this weight. It was all over as soon as I stuck my toe in the sand, so. Well, the second time I got off, it was a little rough, but I made it. Other than that, it was great. It was a little thermally down low um, already this morning. Sun's shining bright. But once it got up above that inversion layer, it got nice and warm, and it was smooth, butter smooth. So I just trimmed out about halfway here and uh, left those guys behind me. So I hope they made it safe and everything, but I had to go. Uh, I got somewhere to be. I'm going to pack up as quick as possible here and get out of here.